What is up guys? It's your boy Rick. Your enemies can't kill if they're dead. Ha ha ha, Kak is here. And today we have a brand new Zer location and inventory review for the weekend of September 24th to the 27th. And so let's get started. But just before we do, I'm new to the whole Zer thing. And I've got a lot of comments from people saying, oh, you took six minutes, so-and-so did it in way less time. If you want me to look at Zer's inventory and go, buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, buy, don't buy, I'm not gonna do that. You can get that information from a tweet. I'm going to take the time to explain why a roll is good, where in the game you should be using it. I'm gonna mention the niche and medium roles that a lot of experienced players would pass, but new players should absolutely pick up. If you want a 30 second video, this is not the video for you. But if you wanna actually learn something, you're in the right darn place. All right, now let's take a look at where Zer is. All right, Zer is in the EDZ, specifically the Winding Cove, and my computer is crashing every 10 minutes thanks to this error, so let's pray to God I can get this one done. Okay, so what does he have firstly in terms of exotics? Merciless is great right now, especially with fusion rifles being so meta thanks to the seasonal mods, good pickup. We've got the Shinobu's Vow with a pretty high 65 stat roll, good you know, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, not a bad pickup. These are honestly not too bad, especially in PvP with that extra skip grenade. We've got the Worm God Caress, pretty darn high 66 roll, but these give you increased melee damage. This is definitely a discipline focused roll. So good overall stat roll, doesn't synergize well with these exotics, but these exotics are so powerful, they get disabled for like half the game anyways, not a bad pickup. Then we've got the Apothesis Veil, you know, pretty darn decent roll, really good recovery stat, but these are definitely not a meta exotic. If you're going to skip one of these, I think it would be this one. Okay, so moving on to those god rolls. Firstly, we've got the Seventh Seraph Carbine, and wow. This is actually a really fantastic roll. Volpo weapon plus auto loading. Guys, this is perfect for Grandmaster Nightfalls. You're going to need to use auto rifles because auto rifle anti barrier is the only anti barrier mod in the game right now. Vorpal weapon does more damage against those champions. Being able to like bust a shield with Vorpal, switch to a different weapon, have it reload automatically. This is pretty much like the Grandmaster God roll. Not to mention the Seven Seraph Carbine can make War Mine cells, so it enables enables all those builds as well. Really good pickup, honestly, for PvE players. Then we've got the last Perdition, a good little pulse rifle here. Kill clip is exactly what you want with the adaptive frames, makes them go from a three burst to a two burst kill. Now under pressure is decent, but not incredible. You've got a range stat increase here. Honestly, if you like the adaptive frame pulses, this one specifically with kill clip is not a bad pickup, but not an utter god roll. Then we've got this Whispering Slab, and this is not a terrible roll here. You know, Swashbuckler improving the damage, Killing Wind here improving the accuracy and so on, and the mobility and the range. I mean, this is really an, a decent pickup. If you like bows, I would really actually strongly consider this one. Now moving on from there, Timeless Vertex Fusion Rifle. Honestly, Elemental Capacitor is pretty decent but Shield Disorient really isn't, so I would maybe skip this roll. Like, Elemental is a little bit narrow, too, for fusions, so I would skip that. We got the main ingredient again, guys, but this time, backup plan. You know, it's definitely not bad, but I'm not a fan of moving target on a fusion here. Accelerated Coils isn't the worst. Liquid Coils, I mean, we've got some decent stuff going on here, but frankly, last uh, weekend's roll is so good. I think this is just downright worse. If you have last weekend's, I wouldn't even consider this weekend's. Then we've got the Outrageous Fortune. Okay, Rampage, Snapshot. Like, I'm not looking for any sort of grenade launcher with Snapshot sights, so I'm gonna skip this one here. Then we've got a Crowd Pleaser, Killing Wind, and Quick Draw with Proximity. I mean, there's some semblance of a PvP roll here, but really it's nothing I'm necessarily looking for. I think I'm gonna skip this as well. Okay, now let's check out the armor. I'm gonna tighten so far. Okay, so gauntlets, really high mobility spike, okay recovery, okay discipline, uh, maybe a little too high mobility, I would skip this. We've got the chest piece, another good spike in mobility, recovery, discipline, intellect, okay at best, honestly. Class item, then we've got the helmet, 
another, like, what is this? Like, we're making the ultimate mobility titan here, but this one has a great intellect spike, and 18 is fantastic because when you masterwork it, it's 20, which is two tiers exactly. So, of all of these, I'm gonna check that, ah, not even close. Yeah, the legs, not spiky at all, 59. Of all of these, if you're gonna pick something up, this helmet's actually not bad, especially if you do want that extra mobility. Let's say you run dune marches in PvP, really not a bad pickup. Let's check the Warlock. All right, on the Warlock here, arms, not very spiky, but 64 is definitely high. The chest piece, a lot more spiky, but it's missing recovery and intellect, which we both really want, honestly. So if you're making a kind of build that revolves around discipline, strength, resilience, whatever, this is a maybe, but otherwise maybe skip it. We've got the bond, helmet, a lot of mobility, you know, a lot of discipline, I'm not sold on this, too much mobility in my opinion, and the legs, all right, like if you're gonna pick up anything, it's gonna be these legs, 61 is not terrible, great intellect spike at 19, not a bad recovery spike as well, these are definitely a consideration. Okay, now let's check the hunter. All right, on the hunter, after my computer hard crashed again, having a bit of a crisis here, okay, so the gauntlets, Honestly, not too bad, maybe a bit too high resilience, but we've got good mobility, decent discipline, decent intellect, these are a maybe. Then for the chest piece, great recovery here at 18. Again, maybe a bit too high resilience, but good discipline, good intellect as well, these I would consider. Then uh, we've got the cloak, we've got the helmet, 56 is just too low, even though it's a bit spiky, I would skip. Then we've got the boots, really good recovery here, Good discipline, again, kind of high resilience, uh, but these are a consideration as well, especially if you want that recovery. So at the end of the day, the best thing here, I think by far, is that Seven Seraph Carbine. In fact, it's so good, I bought one myself to prepare for Grandmasters, because again, that's where this thing is really at home. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna keep up to date with the channel, follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.